So we've now got our mod for an Easter egg set up. Uh, we want to go and see if it works. So let's just recap where we've got to. Here's my uh, my test folder on my desktop. In there, in the mods folder, we created a folder called my mod. In my mod, there's another folder called textures, and we put a, a graphics file called egg.png in that uh, folder. If we go back up to my mod, we also made an init lua file, which had the uh, information to register with mine test the fact that we wanted to create our new uh, egg with that graphics on the outside of it. So if I go back up from my mod to mods and from mods to the mine test folder, I can now run mine test. So I'm going to go into bin, find mine test exe, and run mine test exe. So mine test starts. Uh, you'll see I've got a couple of worlds already, but I'll show you how I create, create a new one. So uh, I want to go and press new for new world. I'm going to call it uh, egg demo. Uh, just pick the regular mind test game uh, at the bottom and press create. So there's egg demo created. Before I run it, I'm going to press configure. And in configure, I can find which mods that I want to allow to run. And there's my mod at the top. And I'm going to say that it should be enabled. And then I press save. OK, moment of truth. I've selected egg demo and I'm going to press play. My test goes off and creates me a new world. Here I have my new world. I find free space at the top. And if I now press I to go into my inventory, I should be able to find in here. If I look very closely. There it is my new block, my very own Easter egg. So I can go and pick up my uh, Easter egg block and uh, give myself a few of them in the inventory, press escape to go back to the main game, and uh, there I am with my block, and I can place my blocks down, and even stack them up. Now, I'm sure you can do better graphics than that, and you can probably do better uh, mind test builds than that, but there you have it, we've created a mod, We've made our very own cube-shaped Easter egg.